Hello, we're gonna do some more word equation, balancing equation practice today. We have hydrogen sulfide gas is bubbled through a sodium hydroxide solution to produce sodium sulfide solution and liquid water. Okay, so just go one step at a time. Hydrogen sulfide gas. Hydrogen would be the cation, plus one charge. Sulfide anion, because it has that ide on it and it's second, minus two charge. Gas means that you're gonna write G in parentheses and then crisscross. H2S gas is bubbled through, okay? That means in some way it's put with sodium hydroxide. So we're just gonna say add. That could be any number of different things that's stated there. But as long as it gives you the impression that it is being put together with something else, you use that plus sign. Sodium hydroxide solution. Sodium is Na plus one, hydroxide OH minus one. Remember, use your poly sheet for those um, hydroxides so that you know the charge. And solution, you don't say S because S means solid. Anytime you see solution or acid, write aqueous. This is a basic ship, plus one minus one, so I don't need to crisscross. To produce, okay, produce means we're gonna get to the products. So we're gonna use that yield sign, which is working like an equal sign. Sodium sulfide solution, Na plus one, S minus two, solution again, aqueous, crisscross, plus, and and plus, same as in math class, water, H2O, and water is a liquid. It's not in solution, it's there by itself. So use that L for liquid. Now, after I've written it this way, then I rewrite it without the charges because we don't write the compounds and molecules with the charges. That's just there for us to crisscross. And then I add in my little line spacing because if not, it gets all jumbled because I forget that I still have to balance. A sentence is not grammatically correct or scientifically correct unless it's balanced because if it's not balanced, that means there's some magic happening. There's no conservation of mass. Always have to worry about conservation of mass. All right, and then this, from here on, it works the same way that we've been doing. H2S is a couple, sodium hydroxide is a couple, sodium sulfide is a couple, water is a couple. It's all couples. It's a double replacement. All right, I make our little reactant and product chart. Okay, and I notice I have water, so I'm gonna use HOH so I can keep the polys together. So I have H, S, N, A, and OH. And again, if you wanted to not keep the polys together, that's totally up to you. As long as you have a chart that's accurate and that can be balanced, then you are good. I have two H's, one S, one sodium, one hydroxide. On the right side, on my product side, I have one H, one S, two sodiums, and one hydroxide, okay? Remember, it's not two H's if you're gonna use the molecular format of HOH there. And now when I look at this, what do I need to change? Okay, I'm not gonna change my H's yet because I have water, so I'm gonna try to wait and balance my H's and my OH's last. It doesn't always work that way, but I'm gonna tend to do that. So that means the only thing left to balance is my sodiums. I have two on the right, which means I need to increase the left. The left had one, now it needs two. So now I have two NAs on the right, or on the left, sorry, and two OHs on the left. So now that's why I waited to balance the water because now my Hs and my OHs on the right need to go up to two from one. So they go up to two. Now there's two HOHs, which is still four hydrogens and two oxygens, regardless of how you're describing it, if as HOH or H2O. It still breaks down to four hydrogens and two oxygens. Okay, two hydrogens, two hydrogens, one sulfur, one sulfur, two sodiums, two sodiums, two hydroxides, two hydroxides. So I am balanced, Conver conservation of mass is met, 
I'm gonna add in my ones to make my sentence pretty and I am done.